Right, now let's try and connect some motors and lamps to our device. The output pins are on the front right hand side of the device um, and you can see that there is eight pins 01, 02, 03, 04, 05, 06, 07 and 8 and all of those are grouped into M1, those two, M2, those two, M3, those two, M4, those two. So if I want to connect um, a device to a motor, I take my uh, device that I'm going to use and let's say I'm going to use a light bulb. So I take my light bulb and I connect it to M1 by plugging it into these two ports over here. I'm just going to slot it into the side of my device. Now in the test interface, if I select M1 and turn it on, um, you can see that the lamp glows. Because it's a lamp, if I select counterclockwise, um, it still glows the same because the lamp isn't concerned about polarity. Let's connect a motor into the same port. So I'm going to unplug the lamp and I'm going to get a motor and I'm going to plug that in there, like so. Now selecting clockwise will make the motor spin clockwise and counterclockwise will make it spin in the opposite direction. You can connect motors to M1, M2, M3 and M4 and you can make them spin in, the, in either direction. So if I was to connect my motor to M2, M1 would now do nothing and M2 would control that motor. Great! We can see better how the motor direction control works with one of our stations. This is the welding arm station and the motor is connected to M4. So you can see if I select CW, the motor moves in one direction and CCW, it moves in the opposite direction.